Serena Williams on a GOP1 grabbed all the headlines this week, but honestly, that wasn't the only big GOP1 story for the week. Here are seven items you may have missed. Cancer risk. A huge study of 86,000 people found GOP1s cut overall cancer risk by 17%, including nearly 50% lower for ovarian cancer risk. That's massive. Oral pill. Forget needles. Novo and Lilly are racing to launch oral GOP1 pills, likely at the same price as injectables, but way more people may stick with them. UK's NHS policy. The UK wants to offer GLP-1s earlier for type 2 diabetes. Analysts say that this could save 22,000 lives if fully rolled out. The U.S. cost debate. In the U.S., new analysis says GLP-1s could actually save 21,000 to 28,000 per patient long term. Now there's talk about bulk purchasing or subscription models. There's a new challenger in the game, possibly. China's new drug, anoglutide, outperformed dulaglutide and could make and could be way cheaper to make, threatening Novo and Lily's dominant. Ozempic price drop. Novo just slashed Ozempic's cash pay price in half, down to $499 a month, with GoodRx helping to roll it out nationwide. And lastly, Vikings crash. Vikings GLP-1 showed 12% weight loss in 13 weeks, but high dropout rates crushed investors' confidence. Their stock tanked over 40%. So while Serena made the headlines, these were the other GLP-1 stories. Cancer protection, pills, pricing wars, and global competition.